Hello everyone, this is Ali and welcome to my channel. In this video I'm going to connect for the first time a Fortinet 40 switch to my uh, Fortinet firewall at home. So right now I have the Fortinet um, switch connected to my laptop via a uh, console cable. I'm going to open a session here and this is COM4 and I'm happy I looked this up on the internet. It's not 9600 the speed I'm going to put 115,000 and 200 or else if you open it on the other one it'll be just some scribbles I'm gonna just change the font to a bigger size and I like to put a brighter color so this is the switch right here and this one is my 40 gate at home Okay, this is the switch, so the password is admin, that means username admin, no password, and I am in, I'm gonna type in the question mark, and it is very similar to the CLI of the firewall, config and get and show, diagnose, I can get um, system status, no, oh, not startup. So yeah, it is similar to the information you get when you uh, type this in on a firewall, get system status, see the version, 40 switch 124E FPOE, it is on uh, 621, uh, I'm not sure if that's the latest one, I don't think so, um, my 40 gate is, in, is on uh, 642 right now, so they should have a a newer firmware for the switch so serial number host name the default uh, system time somewhere in back in 1969 okay so we have similar CLI to the 40 gate so get question mark I see get hardware log router switch this is specific to the switch system test and user okay let's test some of these um, commands. I, I also found these uh, I also found this command where I found where I have to uh, change the baud rate for the session. So get system console it is 115,200 so I'm glad I found that before I connected uh, let's try get system uh, let's say admin admin list and I can see username admin console started <coughs> 1969 December 31st but we are December 3rd 2020 let's try another command get system um, <coughs> gonna try interface System interface physical. Oh, I can see this interface here. Internal. It's like um, I think like the VLAN one on a Cisco switch. All the ports are on the internal, I guess, uh, interface. Uh, let's let's see. Get router info, routing table details. Okay, so I have this network here connected. I think it's the same as a 40 gate if I want to connect via a web interface. I have to connect to the 192.168.1.99. I have to connect the cable to any of the ports and yeah. Uh, let's try get hardware. Okay, got hardware, CPU, memory, and status. That will probably give us some uh, statistics or stats about the CPU and memory usage. And the status will give us um, the model name, what CPU, how much RAM, hard disk not available. Okay, PoE firmware version. Okay, that's cool. Get switch. Let's try get switch. 
Oak, get switch, VLAN. We don't have any VLAN interfaces set up. Uh, let's try get switch trunk. Also no trunks. Uh, let's try get switch PoE. Command fail PoE inline. What is this command doing? Okay, it's looking at each interface status enabled. Make this bigger. Power consumption for each interface 18, 19. Okay, I'll just wait for the command to run up to 24. So 26, 27, 28, and 29 are those uh, are the ones that need uh, an SFP. So I don't think we can enable um, PoE on those ports. So just from port 1 to port 24. Here with this command you can see some power consumption on each port if I connect an uh, access point I'll see how much power it's drawing It's maximum power state probably searching because there's nothing connected right now and priority, okay so maybe you can uh, put higher uh, priority for some devices some, some PoE devices uh let's let's look at other ones mirror get switch mirror status we can mirror some ports we have nothing right now of course uh get switch let's look at the interface interface okay i can see all interfaces here port one port security sticky mac disable and all of them Okay, and then we can see the internal interface. Uh, well, let's try show. Show switch interface. Okay, now we can see the configurations of each port. So edit port 1. There's no configurations under every port. Oh, from port 21 and on, we have set auto discovery 40 link enable. And that's what I need to connect this switch to the firewall so I can manage it through the firewall. And I have from, so I'll connect port 24 to the firewall. From 25 and on to 28, these will need a uh, an SFP, so I'll just connect 24. Uh, let's look at other things, get switch. Um, modules, get switch modules. Summary. Okay. This is where I look at the SFPs if I connected anything. Empty. They're all empty right now. And let's see the details. This will probably give me more details for everyone, but I have nothing now. Show system interface. Um, oh, I have internal. Let's look at the configurations of this internal interface. So set up set mode DHCP, uh, secondary IP. So this is the IP we connect to if we want to manage the switch via the command line. So enough of this CLI of this switch. I want to connect it to my firewall. This is the firewall right here. Uh, so basically the firewall, these seven ports are um, internal switch ports or they are configured under this type hardware switch but i took out port number seven or internal seven and i put it under this 40 link this was already here i didn't need to do anything except put the internal seven uh, the port seven in the interface members and the addressing mode here has to be at uh, this one dedicated to 40 switch so i'm going to keep everything on default and i'm going to connect my 40 gate port 7 to port 24 of the switch and we'll see what happens so i just connected that and according to that sticker on the switch i go to wi-fi and switch controller managed 40 switch 
okay, I see here a switch um, serial number and it says unauthorized. I can right click and say authorize. And now it is probably authorizing my switch. So it connects it to, okay, I'm not sure if it, take, it took it or not. Oh, it is rebooting right now. Okay, my switch is rebooting, so it took the, the command. Point to link interface. This is the same as under the network. Uh, for to switch VLANs here, where I can set up some VLANs, probably for my, okay, voice VLAN, video VLAN, quarantine, or the VLAN IDs, for to switch ports. I don't know if I can see anything now. Oh, wow. I can see them actually. I can see all these um port of the switch while it is still rebooting right now but of course i don't know if i can do anything with them i can't edit create new i can create a trunk okay i'll cancel that for now and so my plan is to connect 40 access points to this switch so i can um I can manage them through the firewall. I have already a, a Wi-Fi VLAN. So I'll just connect the 40 switches or the 40 access points to this 40 switch on that Wi-Fi VLAN. And I will be able to see a physical, a nice physical topology here. That's why I want to connect this switch to the 40 gate. Okay, it's coming back up now. The fans are getting louder. It's still offline. So right now I have all my devices here on different VLANs connected directly to the 40 gate. Or not directly, actually. I have an HP switch here in the middle. Um, but all my VLANs are on the 40 gate. Now I have a port switch coming up soon. Disconnected and connected, so I will wait. I don't know how fast it takes, maybe a few minutes, a couple of minutes. I'm gonna see the logical topology. It's not going to change much because I didn't add any interfaces. But I'm just going to see if it shows anything. Okay, so right now I only have my VLAN interfaces and the devices connected to them. I have nothing that shows the switch. So I'll just wait for the physical topology. This will be coming up soon. Just going to go to manage towards the switch here and see. Okay, it is online. Let's see the 40 link here. I can see the port turned to green. 40 link here is green. 40 switch ports. Okay, nothing connected, but um, I'll go back to manage 40 switch. You can see some options here. Connect the CLI, upgrade, delete. Gonna connect the CLI. Okay, that looks nice. Exec SSH from admin at this interface. Permanently added. Okay, get system status and this is basically the same switch nice and it took the current time from the 40 gate okay so i think it is online 
this is the switch I'm going to try to upgrade it um, I'll see if I can download the latest firmware version and update it I'm gonna look at the physical topology one more time okay it's still red maybe not until I, I connect my access points and I have some I have the Wi-Fi set up I have some devices here that will show a nicer topology but uh, that is it for this video thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one